Hello, this is Ahmed Ibrahim with an introduction to the Subconscious for Academic Success program. The Subconscious for Academic Success is an encrypted online lecture where I train learners how to transform information in the form of written text into mathematical equations in order to be stored in the subconscious mind. The premise of this approach is that if we can rewrite written text to mathematical equations using mathematical symbols such as the equal sign, the plus sign, the minus sign, which are already stored in the subconscious, the link between the information in the written text and the different symbols will transform the information to the subconscious mind. Once the information is stored in the subconscious, it will remain there for a long period of time and can be retrieved immediately upon request. This approach will help learners overcome exam-related phobia and other learning problems. But what is the subconscious mind? To understand the subconscious mind, we have to compare it with the conscious mind as they both exist in the brain. The following comparison is solely based on my experimentations with the subconscious mind over the years. The conscious mind, in my view, is short-term memory, whereas the subconscious mind is long-term memory. Short-term memory means that the information is retained for a short period of time, then released or lost. This is because the conscious mind is limited in its storage capacity, that is, the number of brain cells. So when the conscious mind is already full and there is more information waiting to be stored, the conscious mind releases part of the old information so as to make room for the new information. Retention of information in the conscious mind is therefore temporary. Retention of information in the subconscious mind, on the other hand, is permanent and lasts for the individual's entire life. The subconscious mind does not need to get rid of any information because there is always room for new information. The subconscious mind never reaches full capacity. This is because the storage capacity in the subconscious mind is unlimited. Moreover, because the conscious mind is related to the five senses, recalling the information that is stored in it is done consciously. In other words, the individual has to take time to think of the answer or the information. This is because the conscious mind works sequentially when it retrieves information. So if the question is A and the answer is Y, the conscious mind has to follow the sequence and move from A to B, then to C, and continue all the way to Y. The subconscious mind, on the other hand, recalls or retrieves the information spontaneously and instantly. That is, the individual does not need to take time to think of the answer or to recall the information. This is because the subconscious mind retrieves the information by random access. In other words, the subconscious mind recalls the answer by jumping from A to Y directly without having to follow any sequence. The final difference between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind is that when the conscious mind stops working, when we go to sleep, the subconscious mind continues to store information. This basically means that the subconscious mind works 24 hours, 7 days a week. But how is information stored in the subconscious? There are two ways of doing that. 
The first is by repeating the piece of information every day over a long period of time. This is how we memorize our names, mobile numbers, and home addresses. The second is by using logical relationships represented by mathematical symbols. A logical relationship always involves two opposing values, such as idea, example, reason, result, bigger than, smaller than, general, specific, in, out. The symbols we use in mathematics are two opposing values as well. The opposite of plus is minus, and the opposite of multiplication is division, and so on. Because these logical relationships are stored in the subconscious by the time the child is 13 years old, any piece of information will easily be stored in the subconscious if it is transformed to a mathematical equation using mathematical and logical symbols. Now, what will we benefit from this program? This program will help you 1. Recall the information, answers to test questions effortlessly in minimal time, any time during the test. 2. Save 80% of the effort and time you usually waste studying for a test. 3. Score full marks on tests while enjoying a full social life. 4. Overcome exam-related emotional problems such as phobia and stress. 5. Retain the information in the subconscious long after the exam is over. 6. Because the subconscious works 24-7, you will be storing the information you transformed into mathematical equations during your sleep. You will be studying while sleeping. Now, two more questions. Who is this program for? The subconscious for academic success works for ages 13 and above. What subjects can be studied using the subconscious method? This program cannot be applied to literary subjects such as poetry and drama. This program does not work for poetry, for instance, because the words, phrases, or sentences cannot be rearranged or edited. In other words, we cannot move a single word, phrase, or sentence in a poem from its original place to a new and different place, and we cannot delete it as well. Another subject that this program does not work with is mathematics. This is because mathematics is mostly made up of equations that cannot be altered in any way. Thank you.